All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to um, Diamond Quantum Law. Now, Diamond Quantum Law is what I've been training for a number of years now. So I've got um, Diamond um, Quantum Law Schools, okay, online at diamondmatrixmasters.net. Oh, the work that is happening now is incredible, okay? So the Diamond... What is the diamond? So the diamond is the new Christ consciousness that our light bodies are actually coming up into. So it's the new frequency, all right? So we've all been doing Reiki for many, many years. But diamond has been active now for probably five or six years. I was told about 20 years ago that it was coming and that until diamond came, we would not be able to heal cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, okay, things like that. So we're coming into a high frequency we need to understand how it works and we need to understand quantum law, okay, because we are creators. So when we're coming into diamond consciousness, we are turning, and for those that are new here, I'm just going to lay a bit of a foundation. For those that have heard this many times over, it's just good for you to know. Anyway, you'll just know it. So if you can imagine, I train off my diamond reflection here. This came to me by source. It was just amazing. So if you can imagine that this is your 3D realm of experience here, okay? And it is based in the, um, because we're a part of the Piscarian age at the moment and Pisces is coming to an end. Pisces itself is the age of duality, right versus wrong, good versus bad, heaven versus hell, okay? So we have been trained and taught to think in duality. So even as spiritual teachers, healers or whatever, because we believe in duality opposites polarity you can see our world literally being split into two at the moment it's like how on earth can you have an election and there's like that slither of difference between polarities that's virtually impossible it's actually everywhere two-party systems polarity 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 now we're seeing polarity in the way we believe our choice is being made okay no Okay, and we actually talk about soul sovereignty. Okay, so this system externally that you're living in your street, the reality of what is actually being lived in your street, in your body, what's being uh, given to you as policy now is um, probably at the height of duality. Okay, because duality needs to control another. And as someone that I love very dearly uh, puts it is, Duality is really all about superiority, superiority control. So we have this vibrational matrix within ourselves, okay, the world program, which is based on survival, okay, survival of the fittest really, okay, so the fitter you are and the smarter you are and the better you play the game, so we talk about the game of duality, okay, the game in um, 3D, Pisces. Okay, that's the game. When we don't understand who we are as a sovereign being of light, we are playing the game. And what happens is, is we as sovereigns are creators and so we are manifesting more of the game by accident. We just don't realize who we are. Which brings me to my favorite question and first question for anyone that's a newbie here. Okay, if your soul, and I want you to think about these words and feel these words, if your soul pulled out of the top of your head right now, what would your body do? It'd fall on the ground, wouldn't it? If I had Joe here, oh, he's here. Okay, he would be slumping like this. He does this. Okay, so it would fall on the ground, wouldn't it? Hello, Joe. There you are, gorgeous man. Okay, all the boys do that, okay? <laughs> so anyway... If your soul pulled out of the top of your head right now, now come on, I want you to bring, my job is to make it real, okay? Make it real. In your body is a living essence that keeps you upright on your feet. And you know that if it removed itself from the body or if the greater you removes your, itself from your body, what happens to your body? Your body dies, so funny about that, but 7 billion people actually believe that. <laughs> but we don't understand what we can do with it and the power of soul source within your body. 
So if you can imagine before time, um, before you came in, okay, so you are the soul, okay, you are the soul essence, that's who you are, okay, and then you joined with the body made of Gaia, so Gaia, beautiful Gaia, Mother Gaia, okay, we are made of the earth, we are made of the substance and the elements of the earth in our physical body, so our physical form is just amazing, and when you understood or get to understand who your team is, you'll never doubt yourself again. You'll never not love your body, okay? The body is amazing. So it's made out of the, um, uh, it's like an earthen vessel. It's a little pointy you. I call it the little pointy you that you're running around with, okay, your avatar. And this is a gorgeous part about it is when you understand that your soul light deliberately dropped down into the earthen body, and your body elemental said, excuse me, who are you? Okay, at the time of coming into the womb, it's like, well, who are you? Don't know you. And your soul goes, oh, I'm your friend. And we're going to get together and we're going to know each other really intimately over the span of your life. And so soul comes in and more and more and more. And so we kind of know that um, soul is embodying itself within our physical framework. Okay. And this happens, what, every seven years. But now we're in this amped up time in our earth history and we have all put our hands up to come here. So all of us have put our hands up to come in at the time, at this time. So are we in, alone? No, we're not. And those for, that come in on the replay, no, you're not alone. Okay, no, you've never been alone. We're all here. We put our hand up to come in with you. Okay, we're friends and family from other realms. Okay, so we're here to do the work and the work is to bring the end to the age of Pisces. Okay, and we've been getting really relevant information just recently through dreams with Magenta Pixie, uh, <clears throat> my precious partner who is on this call. Okay, dreams that were saying that the Piscean age has to come to end, an end because the realm of Pisces has to devour itself. It's, its basic nature is that you cannot win within the system of Pisces, okay? Pisces is right now devouring itself, and you can see this within the world, okay, and what's going on. It's actually bringing extreme limitations and oppression, okay, to those that are still in the, in the Pisarian system, and if we remain in the system, it will devour us. There's no other way, okay? Duality is going to come to an end, but it's not going to come to an end in a pretty way unless those who are sovereign come into soul sovereignty um, and into 5D and above can actually bring us, and we. this is what we're doing, we're actually returning back to the oneness of source while here, okay? So we talk about the four stages of consciousness. First stage of consciousness is you in light as that beautiful photon spark, starlight, okay? Cosmic energy, whatever you want to call it, source, divinity, the divine, from source, from the one, okay? Um, whatever you want to call that. It's really, really cool. God, universe. But I don't actually use these terms because what's happened is this age has destroyed the true meaning of it, okay? It just has not been given to us. And so we've been wandering around quite um, quite lost. And that is the part of, and this is the journey of the four levels of consciousness. So we were the spark. We knew who we were. We dropped down into Maya, Okay. Maya, sorry, let's get the word right. Maya, we dropped into Maya, which is forgetfulness. And yet the, the, the little one is still fully conscious, but then there's this wrapping that comes in, okay? And the system itself wraps and takes away the sovereignty of the soul to know itself and to remember, okay, who it actually is. And so this has been the journey of 3D. I don't know who set this up, but I'm, I'm not really for it because <laughs> we're only just coming back out. It's been a hard work. Okay, so my entire life's been spent coming to the third level of consciousness, which is to rise back up. And we're rising back up. And so we're coming back through 
to the uh, through the third level. So most people are sitting around the third level in spirituality circles, but yet to come up through the portal. See this little tiny pinpoint portal here? Almost is the eye of the needle, isn't it? So we've got to come up, back up. How do we do this? We come back up into our full consciousness by really integrating the triune being of soul triune being oh that's a new one isn't it so triune being is your divine feminine divine mother divine masculine divine father and the divine inner child the holy child that is the creator okay in form brings to form the visual uh, vibrational world that we live in so it's really interesting so this is what my job is is to initiate souls into okay their soul sovereignty which is igniting your board of directors we call it your board of directors why because the board of directors it came to me one day would you put a wounded child onto your board of directors i go oh my god no okay why because the second part of what's so vital to understand is that within your vibrational framework within your vibrational framework is a quantum field, okay? And whatever you project out onto your quantum field, you're actually emanating, vibrating, projecting, expanding into whatever you yourself are promoting as a creator. Why? Because you're a sovereign soul and you're a creator. So this is bringing the reality of you and your own empowerment Oh, and we say, keep, you know, I'm coming into my power, I'm coming into my power. And that is still a mental body framework, okay? What you're coming into is soul sovereignty, okay? Soul sovereignty that keeps you upright on your feet is your power, is your true consciousness, is your true state of being, okay? So we're just getting rid of some of the thoughts that the, spiritual hierarchy is still teaching because they're still in duality okay and so for those that haven't actually heard of it please grab my book because it's insanely incredible it's called diamond matrix masters self-mastery level one and it's self-mastery level one because i only just teach you how to cross the bridge okay and um, it's a very powerful book that teaches on quantum law quantum law versus human law Okay, so you're seeing human law in all of its glory right now, which is totally insane because brain to brain is insane. Trying to get people to actually do something through human law constructs is now showing its insanity, but it always was insane, okay? You know, when you get in a fight with someone, you're arguing with them, you go, my God, I think you're saying the same thing I am. It's just insane, isn't it? Why do we do that? Why are we fighting? Because it's a game. And Pisces, in the game, when you activate the alchemy of the game, which is victim, intimidator, and rescuer, okay, you're asking other creators for your solution, aren't you? <clears throat> so in actual fact, you're not being the creator yourself and not taking responsibility for what you create because you're actually trying to blame somebody else. Okay, to get back on top within the game of survival. And that's what Pisces is. It's a survival. It's a, it's a plane of survival. And that's why the light of um, Buddha, okay, in all of his um, essences came to earth and was sowing these seeds of truth, seeds of consciousness, the Christ, okay, uh, Jesus the Christ, actually seeding okay, the, these beautiful rays of consciousness so that we can actually um, come up into uh, what it is that we are meant to flower into. And our flowering into is full divine consciousness, returning back to um, the fifth dimension and above, the multi. It's, it's beyond that. Oh, my God, what I've come to learn this week is just way beyond that, okay? I can't even say just fifth dimensional it's just so much more it's actually beyond the dimensions to beyond creation we're coming up into um, your state of isness as a divine being your divinity 
So what's actually holding you up right on your feet is your divine, your divinity, your oneness source. Isn't that cool? That's cool, all right? That's where your joy component is, okay? When you're actually in alignment, and we teach on alignment, okay, and you can be aligned in a holy instant. Who would like to get aligned today? Okay, let's do an outpouring, okay? I mean, we've had so much brain fuzz this week. It's been insane what's been going on, okay? I like to keep things short, neat, and sweet. That's my motto because I'm a quantum creator, all right? If I go too deep into dense energies and get into the game myself, I become a 3% creator, 3% not 33% or 333%. You'll understand this if you read my book. But you, you become a conscious creator that can actually have 100% of what you are wanting to direct from your quantum field. Understand that? So when we get tied up in these oppressive energies, okay, that are going on and we've actually had a lot of oppression from the um, gathering of the Halloween forces and people going oh my god what's going on you know is this like downloads recodes and all that type of jazz well we have had recoding um, happening for the 11th of the 11th absolutely coming up into our divinity however last week okay being Halloween or the week before actually had a lot of dense energy which was keeping us I was feeling like depression and I don't get depressed. And what it was, as my partner looked at me with a funny face, like, seriously, Ruth, you're being affected. And then I had to turn on my light body, okay? Turned on my light body. My soul goes, oh, we're fine, okay? Why is this important to know? Because your try in being is fine. So, Yasmin, right now you are fine, okay? Don't fake it with me. <laughs> Let's impart and turn on your light body with the diamond. Uh, so for those who haven't experienced this, I'm going to actually just um, assist with the brain chemistry be balancing first, but you will find it. And if you're actually aware of it and tuned into the high frequencies, it might even go to your heart straight away. Okay. But your brain chemistry realignment is one of the healings that we do. And it's insanely incredible because if anyone's got mental health, unwellness, anything that's going on, resetting the um, brain chemistry, your DMT levels, serotonin, adrenaline levels, and closing back down or balancing your pineal gland that's been popped open through all the traumas that we're going through, this is a wonderful, wonderful way to go because diamond consciousness is your DNA. It works with your original DNA, it remembers who you truly are, the original blueprint of you. Isn't that cool? Okay, so you are loved so intimately. You are a perfect vessel and you work mm, immaculately if we can turn you on. Okay, so I'm here to turn you on. Let's turn you on. So you can shut your eyes just for a moment and just receive. I'm just going to merge with your light bodies and you'll feel the connection shortly. <laughs> Tanya, you're having a good time there. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Oh, lovely. So just for, so here, here we come, okay? So here I am with you now. Just um, receiving into the top of your head. I want you to visualize this beautiful diamond, diamond energy coming in through your frontal lobe, through the front of your head, through into your third eye. And just receive. So we really don't care what your mental body or your mental mind's doing, okay? Really, we don't judge anything. Just let it go through your head. We don't care what it's saying. It's not important even. How refreshing is that? Oh, it doesn't really matter what I'm thinking. Just let it cruise through. Just receive now the diamond energy. And you might feel this beautiful warmth coming through your brain. And you have to understand that diamond is the color of the rainbow. It's got all the rainbow energies lit up. It's also your Christ consciousness, your buddhi intellect, your innermost being. 
<clears throat> loving you up and saying thank you thank you for letting me come in and so your I am presence whatever you want to call it your holy Christ itself your higher self the one how good is that hey eh? just relax you're feeling the relaxation coming over your brain yeah that feels good so a lot of us do um, meditation to get to this point. And I went through amazing experience of being told I could balance myself in 10 seconds. And then I went to a home and the Course of Miracles, the book was open on my bed. I didn't know how it happened. And it said, in a holy instant, be whole. Now, this is refreshing news because it means I don't actually have to do anything but turn my light on. To be whole, to be whole, what does whole mean? Well, wholeness is sacred space. Wholeness is healing the frequencies within your body. Wholeness is the capacity of the <clears throat> true Christ consciousness to, that is so pure okay, and able to wash away vibrational stories that you have cast upon yourself as a creator. And so right now, even as you're taking in this pure energy into your brain and you're just feeling a tingle, let it go all the way back to your cerebellum. So just letting the energies. So your diamond, of course, knows you uh, conscious. It knows you intimately. It's, your, it's just beautiful love. And that's what's coming back into your life is your intimate connection with source. That's what's igniting. Your soul sovereign essence is igniting. And it's your job and your responsibility, once you know of this, okay, to ignite your heart. Ever gotten a flat battery? Okay, that's an indicator that you need to ignite your life. I had one of those after Halloween. It's like, what? I was so empty. I was like, no, I had to ignite myself. you got to turn yourself on. It's pretty cool once you remember these words because you'll go off and do it in your day-to-day -day life. So just receiving, and now it's dropping into your heart center. Okay. Just receiving into your heart center, just opening up your heart chakra many years ago because I came up through the church so I grew up in Christianity I used to get these messages open your heart open your heart I didn't even know what the heart chakra was it's like what how do you open your heart up okay opening up your heart center and this is what we're coming into so with the your divinity birthing into your four body vibrational light system okay so your four bodies just as a basic for our western world western model so you are a physical body you're a mental body your emotional body and a spiritual body okay and um, this is the problem with the the dualistic system it only believes in one body and it's got everything down pat on how to manipulate that one body which is your physical body but it's not actually realizing the total you so there's way more bodies. There's probably nine bodies, okay? The Eastern philosophies know it well. But um, for our sake, I just teach on the basics, which is for body wellness. So right now, just letting this beautiful light shine out through your bodies, through your mental body, your emotional body. Just letting the diamond do the work. And you're going to feel the resistance just slide away and dissolve as the alchemy of light dissolves the vibrational stories that you've had going on that's what diamond does any anomaly in your body it doesn't matter whether it be osteoporosis heart failure god knows what we've been doing some amazing stuff okay we can remove the disease from your body with this diamond energy that's how powerful it is so once you start believing Okay, if you've got a couple of little gliggler glitches going on in your body, <laughs> okay, come to me for a healing because we can get it, get it out of your system. 
So, and you can find that on diamondmagicmasters.net. Go come in for healing. We actually set up your light body. Have you ever thought of that before? People go, I'm an empath. I can't bear people. <laughs> I'm an empath. I can't go into shopping centers. I'm an empath. I can't live in the city. Now, we understand that an empath is a sensitive being, okay? But in truth, every single one of us humans is a telepathic body because we actually feel energies. We communicate. So as you come across me, just as I'm merged with you now, you're feeling my light body, aren't you? You're experiencing of that. It's not so scary. But what we do is we actually set up a person's auric field. So a person hasn't got their light body set up who's still being affected by anything okay got to be able to stand in your sovereignty and go hmm, i'm the one that affects i'm in the world but not of the world so i will influence the vibrational output not that will influence me can you see the difference so a person who's still caught in duality is in self-protection when you're in self-protection, it means you believe in duality of right versus wrong or someone's going to get me. Okay, no, they can't get you. When you come in and you've got your life body set up, my goodness, when we set up your life body, nothing can touch you and you will move wherever you want by the freedom of your soul governance. Okay, this is why we want you to understand your sovereignty. Your soul governance is what brings you freedom within this lockdown situation. Why? Because when I rise to go do something, Mr. Policeman is not there. Okay? Believing that I'm in lockdown is like me ringing Mr. Policeman and saying, excuse me, I'm going to be over here and I'm not going to be wearing a mask to come and arrest me. Okay? Come on. I want you to think logically about your positioning and what you're believing in. No, you have free movement. When you come into feeling your presence right now, so feeling it in your light body, feeling that diamond energy that we've been imparting, that is alignment. That's alignment to your soul. Now, how do we function? Well, your left, your left hand side is your divine feminine intuition. Anything that's going on in the left hand side of your body, okay, is generally you're not listening to your guidance. That is who? You. Oh my God, why would we not listen to ourselves? Okay, I've had to go through all of these eye popping moments. Like, how ridiculous. What am I actually, you know, what am I grating against? It's actually my own self who's written my contract to come and live in this world, okay, with a path that I have knowledge on inside of me that is going to show me the way and I can trust with everything in my being. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my God, you can't be harmed. It says we'll know beforehand what's going to happen, okay? So these are the things that I want you to trust your soul on because your divine feminine is saying, has said to me, and this is all through the book, honestly, Grab it. Grab some of my teachings. Go to the YouTube channel, okay, because I'm teaching on the stuff. Your divine feminine uh, or my divine feminine, our divine feminine, pushed me out of the way. Literally, it was like this wind just hit me one day and she goes, excuse me, I get return on everything that I create. And here we are being these little pointy 3% creators when the goddess, divine mother is within us, pouring <laughs> into our vibrational worlds true creations okay not little tiny three percent creations she's bringing us the strategy ever had a strategy just drop into your head okay that's come from your divine feminine how cool is that so when she comes in and you get this amazing strategy or even every single thought that you've ever had in your lifetime i want you to stop and go oh my goodness thank you okay because I got this conscious feeling of um, overwhelming respect. And that's what we're coming into. The divine masculine works with the right-hand side of your brain and you can actually feel the divine masculine. Let's talk about the divine masculine. As soon as we talk about the divine masculine, you can feel him in your brain. Okay? 
I want you to feel the sensations in your brain. And this way you will know because you know because you know that your team is active within you and that you can call on your team, your board of directors, any time that you want. Okay? In your brain. Feel your left hand side, uh, right hand side of your brain and your body right now. Feel the sensations within it. Because when we're coming into Diamond's Quantum Law, and I'm adding, what we're doing is we're adding these ideas to you. And as we're adding the idea to you, you're tweaking your reality in your vibrational world. So now you're tweaking that I've got a, a board of directors. I'm tweaking that I've got a active triune being. And so every time you change your mind, and I teach on the law of acquisition, how we acquire whatever it is that we're wanting to bring to ourselves or what we're wanting to expand into, as a creator, and you will feel these parts of yourself um, just lighting up. You'll feel the energy and you go, oh, that's my divine fat masculine. What is he? He's your doing force, doing, your physical doing, okay? He produces the spark and he says to the divine feminine, so be it. So it is, whatever you want. And he's saying that to you. I was like, do you want champagne with that? I'll just lavish you in the unconditional love, anything that you want, the genie in the bottle. So we're learning how to manifest and bring to us and by the law of acquisition. So the law of acquisition came to me um, years ago and it took me about two years to understand it. I'm still understanding the law of acquisition. It's incredible. It's actually how we create as creators. And it's the third part of the Quantum Living with Four Body Wellness School. So the first parts of it is your diamond light body recode where we pull out your pain bodies and your contracts, soul contracts, because everything is coming to an end with 3D. You do not have to live your 3D story vibrations anymore because we're coming up into our galactic and beyond selves now as we're sitting in 5D. Isn't that cool? What's that, Tanya? I'm looking at the end time there. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so we have got, we've got this immense time. Now let's talk about what I'm really here to talk about. So I've just created a foundation of thought for those that haven't um, actually heard this before. But we're going to build on this each week. So over the last, last three months, we had the lion's gate, the lion's gate. I want to remind us, okay, of um, this. We have actually walked from the bottom up. Okay, in our journey. So a majority of us have done the hard yards of walking through, okay, that swamp of 3D. And we've done a bloody good job, I've got to say, in my little Australian accent. Okay, so we've got um, this that's been happening. So all of us have been trudging, taking on more light, filling up, calling it in. And one of the greatest things that you can do today is know that you and your authority is one in your alignment. You've got to pop on your light body, okay? If you saw me, uh, that little post I put on yesterday video onto Diamond Matrix Masters, um, it's talking about you have to turn on your light, okay? If you are not turned on, you're back to front and upside down, which means I am calling to a creator, to a source outside myself, to the universe. How many people say, oh, the universe is going to look after me? Oh, the universe. Come on, universe. We're talking to the universe the same as we, in the old way, talk to God. God is out there. I am not being blessed, okay, but I want to be blessed and I'm sick. Please help me. So we've got this whole framework going on. And so much of the spiritual community, if you're listening to the dialogue, has got this position. Okay, so how can they help you? They can't. Okay, they don't have enough authority because they're actually working as 3% creators. All right, so we've got to turn around and this is the leap. So we've been talked about, talking about the leap. We've been talking about the shift. What is the shift? The shift is coming from here, okay, and we turn you around in the Diamond Quantum School, we turn you around so that you come into this amazing capacity of I am that I am. That's your first great principle. I am, I am. I want you to feel your light body right now. 
Just sense yourself. And we'll just say those two words, I am. Little pointy you joined with the greater you, I am. So in the diamond connection that you're actually feeling right now, we've connected you to the greater you. So right now you are a channel of light able to say I am. Ooh, feel that. Here's the presence just pouring into you right now. Okay, I want you to feel when you're switched on, this is how it feels. This is demonstrable. But if you ask a person, you know, have you had energy work done and they have not, well, they don't have any reference points. Okay, that's why we've got to demonstrate it to you through the impartation. Isn't this beautiful? Uh, gives me bliss bombs. Gives you joy. Joy can't be manufactured. It can't be presented to you through affirmations in 3D. It can only come in your divine union, sparked up, turned on, ignited. Okay? It's the only way you can get joy. Uh, your souls are just loving this up. They're going, oh, yes, we can breathe. Okay, we can be our true selves. You have to understand that your soul sovereign you, triune being, so your personal divine feminine, divine masculine, divine inner child, who is the experiencer, who brings into your 3D reality, hmm, I'm here, ah, all of this is given to you by your divine inner child. It's the arrival. So your divine inner child's not this skipping, dancing little creature out in front of you. However, it does experience this joy, okay? It's actually the one who's pulling the 3D creation into your experience that you've been uh, creating through your divine feminine and your divine masculine and the divine inner child delivers it. Like deja vu. You ever had those deja vu memories? I feel like, oh, I feel like I've lived this before. Well, that was a part of your soul script. It was written in. So that's why we want you to hook up with that as much as possible because you'll remember everything because you wrote the script. How awesome are you? Isn't that gorgeous? So getting back to the last three months, okay, we've actually come up to this point, this pivotal point, and for those of us that have already ignited and done the initiation process, and we have lots of diamonds that have come through our school and have become diamond active, which the school finishes with three sessions of diamond reconnection, which is a Palladian light work, which updates your physical frequencies. But we've got to teach you diamond quantum law. If you understand who you are in quantum law, so that you don't go out and keep creating 3% creations with great power. Imagine if we open up your heart chakra and everything, you become this, but you still don't understand how to create. You're going to create havoc. Okay, so that's why we teach on diamond quantum law. Okay. <clears throat> we might have confused some people with the times because we've got some interesting things going on time-wise with daylight savings times. Okay, so with this, so here we are. We've done the lion's gate. We're coming up here. We're becoming soul sovereign, activated. But what is happening is Pisces is ending. Pisces has to come to an end because Pisces can only devour itself. That sounds really gross. And some of the dreams that were shown are really gross. Okay. It was to get this point across. You cannot win in Pisces. Understand that? You cannot win. So you can fight all you like with 3D agenda, but you can't win in this system. Only the sovereignty, you coming up and out of this, finishing this system within your vibrational framework, okay, then this is what they used to call entering the kingdom of God. So you're actually entering, coming back through the portal into soul sovereignty and able to create your world, your vibrational world from that perspective. Okay, so in alignment, we've turned on your light body. Now you're a part of the vibrational world of your sovereignty, your sovereignty. Where's my crown? I've got this 
crown that I picked up, put on my head sometimes. So I put your crown on, okay? And um, it's funny because we're talking about these things in 3D, but we're not understanding the true reality of it. When you put on your sovereign crown from a sovereign creative perspective with your board of directors lit and your little pointy you in alignment, the world's your oyster, okay? You can create whatever you want, okay? But you'll be creating magnificent creations instead of little messy creations. That's the point. Okay, so now we're actually coming up and some of us are coming up and we had a call of the elephants. An amazing lady, uh, Cherie, uh, you can find her as Shamama, is um, doing Reisha light work. Um, I myself am activated as well. So Reisha is the rose and this has been released into the earth now. Reisha, the rose, the purity of the rose, the holder of the rose. The rose is being put into our heart chakras and in our heart centers. And you can receive that right now. Okay, and this will ignite you to the divinity within you. Okay, which is very, very powerful stuff. And we've had great healings on our own physical mother relationships and things like that because we've been taking on the purity of the rose, which just dissolves duality and only promotes the source, source, unity, unconditional love. See, in unconditional love, there is only light. There is no splitting into duality. There's no fall. Isn't that beautiful? So every time you come into alignment, you're actually activating only the unity of unconditional love, which is what diamond and rainbow energy is. And this is what the Earth's originals always were. The Earth's originals, the Aboriginals, were always beings of light, multidimensional beings of light, able to telepathically communicate across their society, um, able to telepathically communicate with the greater within them from the galactics to source itself, and always receive those vibrational messages. And this whole system, this whole world is built on that ability you know and this is what the colonialism and that has wiped off the face of the earth okay our true sovereignty <clears throat> so we have programmed ideas of what sovereignty is here i can assure you that making treaties with one another is not sovereignty it's not what we're talking about okay true soul sovereignty is for every single member of humanity as Gaia is rising, as all of the kingdoms are rising, okay, as we are rising, we are all becoming uh, true sovereigns, which is true divine being sealed back into this part of ourselves. And what is this part? This is the new 5D, the new earth, okay, and we, through initiation processes, are letting go of Pisces so that we're seated in the new earth. That's what's happening right now. That's what's happening these last three months period. And it's like we've got this reaching up happening within ourselves. But what's going to happen to you within the next few months, if you're willing to, you're going to find yourself here. And this is where you come into knowing that you are divine. And when you know that there's no more work to do, okay, again, if you've got dialogue saying that there's work to do, you've got to keep learning. That is an incorrect position. And that person is still based here in duality. Because within the creation of us coming out of Pisces, we are indeed in a place of reaching for and wanting to get out. Okay, we're wanting to return back to freedom. But when you come up into your sovereignty and then you're sealed into this, which is the age of Aquarius, which is the age of Atlanta, if you've got any Atlantean or Lemurian or any of those high society memories, tap into the light source. Okay, remember the light because it's actually connected to your source, not a 3D denser energy. And this is what we can feel. We're feeling the suffocation of the solar energies instead of the freedom of the stellar photon energies where we come from. 
Isn't that cool? That's why the body needs to be upgraded. And that's why we do this work. Okay. So it's really important that we're upgrading like we do into anything into a new frequency. But what is coming is your divinity and nothing less. So I'm changing from, and I've been working with all these years, talking about soul, soul, okay? Um, soul, the triune being. Well, the triune being absolutely is so, and the soul is so. But the soul is a creation of your divinity. So let's add that into the mix. Your soul is a creation from your own divinity. So if you can imagine you on an elevator going back to source and then connecting with source to look down the, um, I've, I've just gotten such a reality of it um, this last week. I've just totally come up into this new space. So when I was doing um, some circle work last weekend, <clears throat> I absolutely came back into my isness as source. And if you can imagine that in the unity of the one, it's like flying. Have you ever flown? You've got all of these beautiful puffy clouds out in front of you <laughs> and they're all different shapes and forms. Well, they are the creations. So you have these creations of manifested worlds. So you've got the galactics, you've got the ascended masters, you've got the angelic realms, you've got 3D, 5D, you've got all of these different universes if you can imagine the divinity within you is beyond the created manifested worlds. Okay, now let's bring it home to you in your house. Okay, the divine within you, the divinity that you are has manifested this vibrational world. And a couple of weeks ago, I oh, finally had this breakthrough and I came up into this consciousness because it's a state of consciousness. You're growing in consciousness. And as you come into consciousness, it was like, oh, my God, I had this little bit of oppression come against me from just this little neck of the woods. And I go, this question came to me. It's my soul because our souls start talking to us. We start getting direct messages. And that's what this book all is about is direct messages from my soul. <clears throat> so the message came to me and who has decided or um, and who has decided that you cannot be blessed? Like, come on, I'm going to ask this to you. I know I can only transfer my it in a mental construct. But if you feel your divinity right now, because we've opened your light body, think of this question, feel it right now. So who decided that you cannot be blessed? Oh, my God. I just had a whole eye-popping moment over that one, and I have changed my framework since then time. Guess, guess who it was? I'm a creator. I had to own it. My partner was going, oh, holy cow, thank God, okay, because I was blaming it's not my fault. I can't understand. You know, I'm spending all this time doing this and my always blessing, blah, blah, blah. I was doing it, but it's because I was still in the creation. Do you understand? You're in a manifested creation trying to get out, running like crazy out of here. I've got to get out of here. It's killing me. It's literally killing you because you're a creator that's killing yourself. And one of those beautiful dreams I had was, uh, like being in a wind cell. And this is the difference between quantum law and human law. Always, and the message was, always create an opening. So if anyone's feeling entrapment, you're the only one that can create the opening. Isn't that cool? By coming up into your divinity to know that everything that you have constructed has been done by you alone. And I had to own my divinity. Oh, my God, the most precious lesson ever. And then I could say, well, who is telling me I can't be blessed? Okay. And then I was able to look at the galactics. Yes, that is a creation. Yes, the ascended masters are a creation. But my essence, the divine mother, divine father, divine holy child is within me beyond manifestations. Isn't that cool? 
And I was sitting in my sacred circle, and I want to share this with you. It was really, really cool. So I'd come up into this. I'm sitting in the divinity of the one, singular. Remember I got the teaching of the single and the dot? And I go, what is this? It took me seven years to get that revelation. The single and the dot. Well, the single is my divinity. The dot is community. So when we actually come into consciousness ourselves, then we have the capacity to bring those that are on the same vibrational wavelength into it or whoever's dealing with a vibrational discord of separation or whatever. The single is the divinity. The dot is community. Oh, we're just such magnificent creators, okay? And this is how the love realms work. You know, this is how the creating of worlds actually happened because your divinity goes into whatever you're imagining, which is Yaz's most favourite thing to do. This chick, she just bunny hops from timeline to timeline. Nope, don't like this one, jumps to another one. Now, she has full understanding of this and does it. I would recommend you follow her. But this is what I'm also getting, Yasmin. Okay, I'm finally just there. So this is like my cloud. So creation to creation to creation, okay? And um, my beloved partner um, teaches in her book as well um, that, um, that this is so... I've got my train of thought. Sorry about that. Okay that this is how it works, okay, and it has a myriad. So you've got a myriad of things that you can be participating in in any, any holy instant that comes in. It's like you can choose that. But you have to know who you are as divine essence, as the divinity itself. And this is almost like blasphemy, okay, to many people who are here and they're still doing affirmations like, yes, I feel good. I'm going to receive today and I feel good. <laughs> I am this and I am that. But when you're in duality, okay, they're words, okay? Whereas what we give you are quantum principles. They are living life quantum principles from a place of sovereignty with the living essence written and spoken within them. They're fully um, immersed um, isness of being. I become this. So I become this next thing in my next sense of expansion according to the timeline that I'm choosing or the creation that I'm choosing to be a part of. Isn't that cool? So now it was like, so who is telling me that I can't be blessed? Who decided that I can't be blessed? Oh, my God, I had to come home into my divinity. Now that's a powerful place to come, okay? And it says that a teacher cannot train any other than anything else other than where you're at. Hey, so before I was training in within the realm of this creation of 3D. Okay, now I know from a place of divinity that I've just tapped into the very beginning of the new age. So if you can imagine, we're like little Atlanteans running around and I go, I was a bit worried about that because the Atlantis side of it's kind of ruined, destroyed our um, firmament around the earth, did some strange stuff. But the Lemurian governance, but that time of the, um, that, that age is returning to us and we have the same capacities, but the source light within us is di the divinity. And it is very, very different to the solar energies of 3D. And that's what you're reaching for. And who has it? Your sovereign soul. Your soul has it. And your little pointy you will just come up and join more and more, okay, with your soul because your soul's not going to let you go, okay? You don't have a choice really. Well, you do, okay? You do. You have, have free will. Do whatever you want as a little pointy you, okay? But not being rude or anything, I was an absolutely useless creator as a little pointy me by myself. Okay, I just created more plan B mess. Okay, no, I want to come into this connection, turn my light body on, become inspired and rise and do what it is that comes to me to do. And what is that going to be? Oh, create a new world and create a new world and create a new world and I become more and I become more and I become more because that is your natural existence in within this creation. 
Okay, isn't that gorgeous? Thanks, Yazzie. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Jonathan. Lovely to see you. Okay, so um, that's coming up to on the hour. Okay, I'm going to be storing these somewhere somehow. So if people are wanting replays, they go out to my YouTube channel. And um, I'll put it into another folder sort of thing. We'll start building off this. This is the time for the elephants, by the way. What are the elephants? We had so many people dreaming of being an elephant. I had an elephant walk into me. It was like I got um, one day it was it was spoken to me and says, you are a teacher of the elephants. I woke up with that. Oh, and I said to my partner, I'm a teacher of the elephants. Next, I go downstairs and this great elephant walks into me. And what did that mean? And this was at the time that Ray Isha, the new rose energies are being released to the earth. Let's explain that. So the paternal side, okay, the paternal council of light, um, Maya teaches on this really well, um, of course, because she knows, knows it intimately. Um, Pisces age is coming to an end, which is the paternal council of light, which has left the planet. That's why all of this mess, it's just like an old fish flopping on the beach. No power, really. That's why we go, you know, go away. No, not interested, not playing not playing okay and what is now going down is that the mother has returned the reisha energies the mother within you okay the true creators um, behind it with love and nurture and everything that unconditional love of the mother is returned back into this system which is the raising of um reisha which is raising Gaia and all her inhabitants, all of our body elementals that has us standing upright on our feet, running around, okay, from the earthen sense is being uplifted into the photon band. So we're coming into the new consciousness through this new cycle. So it's been magnificent being on the on this journey to to back to our divinity while within 3D. Okay, that is impressive work, and that's what we came for. Okay, so do not be afraid of this today, okay, for any reason whatsoever, because it is only a manifested creation. Oh, my God. When you understand you're the divinity and the creation, everything that you manifest is merely a figment of our imagination. It's a manifested creation. And if you want to, you can dissolve that and choose another creation. No, I'm going to have another creation. I'm not doing that. Who told me I can't be blessed? I did. Okay, who told you you can't be blessed? You told yourself. The divinity within you, you told source. Well, you as source said that this, because of this illusion, that's what you were taught. We forgot. So there's no judgment in this. Okay, we don't care. And everybody has done the same thing because we've forgotten our divinity. So you're going to hear me using the word divinity from now on, okay, because it is so much beyond the manifested creation. All right. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Might just open up the mics. Isn't this exciting? Tanya, you've been celebrating in the background there. I've seen the joy going off like bliss bombs. <laughs> Tell us how what you got. What were some of your popping moments? Did she just go? She's gone. <laughs> I'm scared her. <laughs> ah, Yasmin, do you want to add anything to that? Well, I was feeling really bad before I come on. Some something, I think like a shift in you know, when things something really bad happens, it's usually it's making it was like hell. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I just think it's making space for some heaven. So I'm all good really. I just observe it, you know. But I, I tried to try and be in a way. I, I, I brought in all my stuff and, and I was like really calm when I started with this. But then when the calm didn't work. Then, then the humanness come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, look, it's it's understanding your sovereignty. It's understanding that it's here. And this is what we do. If you feel empty inside, we ignite you and put symbols within your light body and, sh- and get you back in touch with your Merkaba and everything that's working. The diamond um, is all powerful and it's to be placed within you okay the diamond sovereignty is your meeting place with your board of directors if you haven't met your board of directors i just come and do our school it's just incredible and we'll bring you into the shift but the shift is into the turning around within your vibrational makeup and then you are activated um, with our diamond um, reconnection light work of opening up your heart but like i said the book is so important i use this every day this is full of quantum laws like do not give a negative report if i judge myself i'm actually giving a negative report i'm a vibrational creator who told you that you can't be blessed i did i'm actually cursing my own self over and over by those feelings so we have to get rid of the feelings because feelings are such a strong emotive creation you are projecting really strongly when you've got your emotional body fully charged okay <clears throat> leaking all over the place which is why we teach other beautiful things like um uh triggered emotions are based in control so i tell these stories about how these principles came well a triggered emotion okay if i've got a triggered emotion i'm trying to control something what am I trying to control? So everything is about self-governance. Isn't that gorgeous? Self-governance, soul governance, divine creator. Okay, so we're talking our divinity to create. But if you can't control your vibrational world because you don't know how it works, okay, we've been at a disadvantage. Okay, I'm 56 years old and that's like, man, it's taken me all my life to figure these things out. Now I actually just live by it, run on it, and it's like so much easier because I can self-correct in a holy instant, be whole. In a holy instant, turn on your light body and you're fine. Okay, so Yasmin, I'm going to join with you, okay, with whatever timeline you're choosing on because it says where two or three are gathered together, I am in the midst, I am turned on. I'm turned on. That my power, my divinity is sparked and then I can look upon that creation. Now, this is what I'm doing right now. This is what I'm doing right now. This has started more this week. I've got absolute understanding that I can look at that creation and go, <clears throat> no, <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, who said I can't be blessed? I'm challenging that. That's only come up because I had it in my escrow. Did you say I can't be blessed? Did you say I have to do it some certain way? No, (laughs) no. Okay, I'm a free will creator. Your free will is the greatest thing that you could ever be gifted with and you were gifted with it and you were to use it right now because your sovereignty on 3D, you can only, you have to use your free will. It's like, no, yes, no, yes. Yeah, I'll have that manifestation. I won't have that. No, sorry. Because the world's going to take over your sovereignty if you give them the power to and you're operating by human law. It's already got this stuff inside our bodies. Okay? Well, not mine, thank you. My body's sovereign. You're not making money out of it. I think $36 for a certain company is enough. Okay. Anyone want to comment? Look, I keep teaching, okay? I just go on and on and on. (laughs) Tabitha, tell us about you. Did you enjoy today? I absolutely did. Thank you. And it it was good because I have a son that's uh, living away from home seven and a half hours and living his life of pursuing hockey. And uh, he's been struggling. Yeah. And struggling being oh. away and the stress and butting heads with the, you know, just a miscommunication between him and his coaches. And, and I've been trying to figure out what it is that he needs from us because he's project, he's, you know, lived his whole life. Our whole life has been hockey with both my boys and they play in the WHL here in, in Canada. And luckily my older one stay, lives at home and plays out for the home team, but with the younger one being 
you know, yeah. seven and a half hours away, it's tough. And it is I, so yeah. And so the and the stress, and I think last year in the bubble, you know, living in a hotel for 45 days and not being allowed to leave except for to walk to the rink was very detrimental on his mental health. And it took him a few weeks once he got home, probably almost a month to get back to normal. And I don't think he's fully recovered from that. So his parents were more worried about his mental. Yeah. You know, when he has a breakdown and says, this is the first coach that's ever made me want to hate hockey. Um, you know, this is just putting it into perspective. And I really, really appreciate the timing of this because it helps me give the tools to him that he needs. Yes. Wonderful. It's, it's, if we can understand the difference between sovereignty and every time we come into a place, so I want you just to breathe. These two words, very powerful right now, Tabitha. No consequences. No consequences is the two flames, the silver and the violet flame. And if you just breathe, no consequences into all of these 3D creations that you've been participating in and also with your kids. And it, what it does is it removes, it actually, the soul fire within you removes it uh, dissolves the vibrational stories and strongholds. And when you come into that and you just feel peace, it's like, oh, my God, there's no vibrational story. I want you to feel the reality of this by doing this, okay? And you have to apply the principles, okay? Until you know it and you stand in it, you're applying the principles to cross over into this. But every time you stand in your consciousness, in unity with your sovereignty, well, your sovereignty has got no games or manipulations. It doesn't care about the 3D world. When we've got like the wounded child pain bodies and things like that, we're like bugs on a live wire. I'm being affected by everything, okay, because I haven't got my sovereignty in place. But what you can do then, let's transfer it to the real world, is that you will change your story pattern. Okay, your mother instincts and your mother roles will shift, okay, because you have to realize that they also have a sovereign being within them and their paths are not our paths, okay? Right. Hardest thing, my God, don't, you know, well, read the book. I think I just did the cross then. <laughs> read, the, <clears throat> read the book. It's incredible because I, as a mother, we... Uh, emitting we are mother creators and we're emitting the greatest fear onto our quantum field manifesting a world for our own children that we do not want them to experience so even that has to go so you can just be this okay Thank very you. very important hey yeah. jonathan jonathan my man my soul buddy hey ruth how are you sister great <laughs> Uh, pleasure to see you again. Uh, love your talks and you're so full of wisdom and positivity and, uh, and uh, definitely resonate with a lot of the things that you speak about. Um, maybe when somebody's lost and like out of control in their own energy, maybe what are some things we could do to get back on track to recognize the sovereignty? You know what? The reason I've developed the Quantum Living and Full Body Wellness School, which is so inappropriately labeled. <laughs> However, it is like the first part of it is your light work. Okay. First part of it is your brain chemistry realignment. As soon as you've got a person going, oh my God, it's like an internal massage. <laughs> and I've got this, oh my God, I can feel peace. Oh my God, I can think now. And we just remove, when you do a, a energy healing with me, I take off helmets of dense, dense energy. We're talking a lifetime of dense energies around the head. Okay, it's like a football helmet coming off, honey, because of you guys from the US, but it's, a, or a, a bike helmet, you know, it is thick, dense energy. And as soon as you remove, and so we do this, we move programs, do all sorts of things in this. This light body set, oh, you've got no idea. It's cool. It's so cool. And you're lightheaded and it's like, whoa. And so we replace that dense energy. We just bring everything back into how it is to be alive. And when you have it demonstrated to you, you will never argue with it again, okay? But then as we, then we set up the physical body, so we go through and heal the physical body with the diamond energy and we take you through the systems 
we let you uh, introduce you to your little people your little people they're just so they're just like hmm we just all have adventures together let's go um and we teach you how to um, set up your life body which is full protections and like i said balance your pineal gland so most people are living perpetuated trauma okay somebody only has to reject me i'm traumatized it's like oh my god no it's like you've just done me a mortal injury because we're in the game in survival so the game if you can imagine this is your lower three seals your lower three chakras your um physical vibrational body is where you you hold all of your stuff that creates cancer so all of the stresses are held in your lower three seals your lower three chakras your solar plexus your sacral chakra and your root chakra so because we're not working from the consciousness we're working from survival and so this is why i teach the second component of the game okay because well people haven't met their soul they're trying being like even now i'm talking to a mental mind and body and you're going yay that is incredible but wait until you meet your board of directors and i take you through that initiation process into meeting your board of directors through the diamond light body recode work that we do it's insane it's insane it's like you know because you know it's like oh my god i've got a team it's completely different okay so um yeah um for those that have gone through my diamond school it's like absolutely different because i had to journey into that myself i had to get rid of those old things even that statement, would you put a wounded child onto your board of directors? <laughs> oh, my God, that was like the most eye-popping thing. It's like, holy crap, I've actually been designing, creating my creations, my manifestations out of the wounded child because everything that I add on to my vibrational universe is coming back at me by the law of reflection. I see it. So we had to take away this great big wounded child, Okay. And so when my soul said that, would you put a wounded child onto your board of directors? If you can imagine your company, I've got this fantastic photo in the Law of Acquisition book that's got this little girl in her office, you know, doing work sort of thing, like she's on the board of directors. And uh, no, you know, an, an immature wounded child cannot be a sovereign leader, okay, because they're going to spack out all the time and burst into tears. That's what I did all my life. Okay. We get out there, we want it, want it, want it, and then we run back into our shell and we go back out again. The wounded child has to be healed. And we do that within a, in the school. So we take you through, it's like a car wash our school. Okay. We take away all of these <clears throat> vibrational strongholds and then teach you, uh, and then you introduce. And only then can you be introduced. That was. So I'm just imparting everything that happened to me on my initiate's journey. And it worked and it's freed me and I've become better. And then I learned the uh, don't play the game, which I've developed as a model because I was seeing souls. I'd get this 333. I'm going, what is 333? Well, 333 is the diamond energy, the, the ascended energy, ascended master energies, okay, which is bringing us into the new consciousness. I'd see 333 and I'd be like on a red eye flight with this person in complete misery, you know, absolutely distressed, broken even, you know. And then I'd have to show them how this works. And they go, oh, my God, I didn't even know I was playing this game. Okay. And so we've got a model of it. Now it's so easy. It's also on the website. You can purchase it straight out. Okay. Um, and watch it today is incredible, about two or three hours of how don't play the game. But it's important that you understand your energetic system first, then you're working with your mental mind and mental body to understand how the alchemy works, how you've been taught the system, how the alchemy of it, because as soon as you tag into it, it goes, and you're living an experience straight up and you know that you've just entered the game. It's like, oh, my God, this is insane. I don't even know how to backpedal out of this argument, but I've just become involved. Okay, it's like, no, oh, come back into alignment in a holy instant, <laughs> come out of that game, the vibration goes out of your vibrational framework. You are a quantum world, okay, but you've got teams built within you that can assist in how you rise, where you go, what's happening next, because it's built into your system on, because it, it's a part of your soul script. 
but you're coming into a time now that we're signing off contracts, um, Tabitha, to our kids, okay, and I teach you how to do that, but it's also in the book, okay, because some of the more important things are in the book so you can set yourself free. We do the Ruthie Walk, so if you're wanting to learn how to do the Ruthie Walk, doing the Ruthie Walk, and it will actually get you into the divine flow, okay? It's absolutely amazing. So we're trying to get you to function as a living creator. But your recognition is the return to your own divinity. Not anybody else's. That's why you don't need another creator. You don't need me. You just need your own divinity to remember that. Yeah, Jonathan. <laughs> I had a wonderful conversation today. And I, I, had a, I had a recorded conversation with a friend of mine. And I also spoke to a loved one. And it's so interesting that you bring this up. Because this is the paradigm for my day. Is that everyone seems to externalize and give their divinity and power away to other people. Because they're lost inside. And they don't know what to do. And it, that's normal, right? But yeah. <laughs> Like, for instance, in my opinion, um, Jesus Christ, uh, he was trying to teach the people, listen, everything that I can do, you can also do. Yes. People treat leaders even the same way, like they worship or they look to this being as being a God and being their savior. And you're seeing the same yes. thing going on with politics now where they're choosing one person saying, this is our savior. No, 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 no. No, that is correct. No, 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 no. <laughs> exactly. You're saying what we were talking about earlier. And I that would love for you. Spot on. So, yes, it. absolutely right. Why would you go to another creator and say, Excuse me, government, can you save me? Okay. Sorry, I'm getting hit with this. What? Can you please help me? And we do this to our partners. And in the law of acquisition, we talk about creation wrapping and creation streaming. Where do you get your stuff from? Who are you expecting to save you is a big one. And who are you trying to save? So are you trying to be a creator that's saving another creator? Oh, so, you know, the terminology of bringing in, you know, a creator that I'm a creator, you're a creator, they're a creator. doesn't matter whether they're my children or not. Another poke at you, Tabitha. But it's such an important thing, okay? We have to learn this. It's so important to see each other as creators with a triune being keeping us upright on our feet with our own personal soul script, okay? And that's why we say don't mix up people's toilet rolls. You stay on your own toilet roll, okay? It's unfolding. Just mind your own toilet roll. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, and let them live theirs. So it's a very hard one to, when we're so used to jumping on other people's toilet rolls and making a big scrappy mess out of it, Okay, um, and this entanglement happens vibrationally and we make great big messes, don't we? We just leave mess everywhere because we're not minding our own energetic toilet roll. Okay, and I, I always have a toilet roll in my skin. <laughs> and I can see maybe there. if you don't mind Ooh, your own There's your soul roll. script right there unfolding. Mind your own toilet roll, okay, where you came from. So um, I've got all of these teachings that I can amuse yourself, amuse you with. But if it helps you to be strong energetically and do today what you are meant to do, you'll go, oh, my God, I'm not worrying about everybody else's anymore. I'm not worrying about that creator over there, nor do I need their assistance. I can do it myself. Thank you very much. Who told me I can't be blessed? <laughs> I did. All right. Take it I on your own it. chops. Bring, you, bring it home. Right, I've got to get off because I'm running out of time. Um, but please join me um, this time. I'm going to turn up at this time. Bring your friends, bring your relatives, bring your children, okay? We all need this message that you are incredible beings of light and it's time for you to come back into your divinity is the point. Diamond blessings.